Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're talking mainly about palettes, eyeshadows, because there's so much of them coming out, and I'm starting to get just a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of eyeshadows coming out. So, what today's mainly focus on is ColourPop, because ColourPop, I see you with your new collection, I see you. So I want to go ahead and dive straight on in and you guys go ahead and follow trend mood because this is where like I see up and coming releases and when I see it I'm like you guys I, I need to sit down with somebody and talk to them so I'm talking to you guys let me know how y'all feel down below because I cannot keep up with these launches like legit as soon as I press confirm my order for Kylie Cosmetics Trend Mood is letting me know that Colourpop is coming out with a collection tomorrow in the morning like can't keep up with y'all. I feel like to me, Colourpop popped out of nowhere and was like, hey, we're dropping three new things and guess what is coming out tomorrow? Well, I'm gonna upload this early in the morning. So it's coming out today. It's coming out today at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Or if you're on the East Coast like me, it's coming out at one o'clock. But um, you guys, once I saw this eyeshadow palette, I'm like, if you guys don't stop. All right, when you look at this palette, Tell me, does it remind you of a very expensive palette? Does it? And don't say the Urban Decay, the Heat palette, because it's not that. It's the Natasha Denona palette. It's the Sunset, I believe, palette that they're, I feel like, I feel like it looks just like it. So I'm really excited to get it in my hands to see the consistency of it, because I saw some of the swatches, and I was like, Colourpop, if you don't stop. That. It comes with 12 eyeshadows and I don't know why but all makeup companies now in 2017 everyone's saying that it's new eyeshadows the pigmentation is unbelievable it's a new consistency pigmentation everybody say that so I want to get this palette in my hands dibble dabble in it and see if it's dupable so I'm just filming this video because I was too excited to wait to get it in my hands. So I'm just finding out, are you guys excited? Do you guys see what ColourPop is trying to do? Because I see it. You know, I'm not blind. But anyways, let me stop beating around the bush. This eyeshadow palette that comes with 12 shades, it's only $16. Only $16, you guys. And I really want to shake ColourPop's hand. Thank you for making it affordable. Like, I, I'm glad I'm not seeing a ridiculous price for your eyeshadows. Like, thank you, Copop. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tear up for nothing. Now, the only thing, I know I might be a little bit messy. A little bit. The only thing I would say, the only thing that I looked at it, I was like, huh. These shades, these consistencies, remind me of one row in Jaclyn Hill's palette that's coming out with more for you it, it does because basically when i look at this color pop um palette i'm seeing reds i'm seeing orange i'm seeing yellows and i'm seeing neutrals to blend it all together now this one row in jacqueline hills palette got some reds got some neutrals see some yellows and mustards it's, it's kind of the same thing so if you were to already have your eye on Morphe's eyeshadow palette and you're asking me do I need both I don't know it kind of looks similar if you're only looking for this shade alone like these shades these red orange you know summery shades if you're only looking for that and you're not looking to spend too much money you could go ahead and spend that $16 on Colourpop's eyeshadow because let me give them a round of applause $16 the eyeshadows look so beautiful and I'm not gonna lie from what I'm seeing online the shades look the shades look the shades the consistency the pigmentation look but I don't know yet I need to get in my hand and you guys already know I'm going to be buying this um well if I get my hands on it like I hope it doesn't sell out you know the next thing in their collection that they're releasing tomorrow today is this highlighter palette now 
if you guys cannot look at this highlighter palette and tell me what it looks like i'm gonna slap you <laughs> no honestly i am gonna slap you especially if you watched my last video if you can't tell what that palette looks like come on come come on i know you see it you need a closer look Colourpop, you are savage. Colourpop, you are savage. You are. And honestly, I'm not mad at y'all. The only reason why I'm not mad at y'all is because this is a limited edition. So if you didn't get your hands on it, you can't go into the store and pick it up or go online and say, hey, I want to order it. You can try to go on like eBay or something like that and pay a ridiculous amount. Each shade is exactly the same. Y'all might as well should have made y'all package in pink. Just go ahead and write Nicole on it. Go ahead and do it. You know? Guess how much the price is. $18. Like, thank you. Thank you, Colourpop. Thank you for always staying true with your packaging. It's going to always be the same. Your pigmentation. It hasn't been so inconsistent. Like, all this watches that I'm seeing. I just... Thank you. And the prices has been staying the same for what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know down below if you think their prices are insane. But $18, this is $40, and theirs is $18. And I saw their swatches looking pretty true. Looking pretty true for that $18, yes. I feel like if you already have this palette, you don't need to go out and buy Pops palette you don't need it but if you missed out on getting this palette and you're like hitting yourself in the head like what was I thinking I didn't get my hands on this what am I gonna do go ahead and buy that palette because it's the same exact thing you know and you're even saving money so lucky for you for waiting because this was $40 and that is $18 and the pigmentation for both look pretty dupable you guys and then i don't think there's a name but there's a bigger size empty palette that they're a magnetic palette that they're releasing for only ten dollars and it holds 24 shades so usually my eyeshadow magnetic palette holds like 12 shades this one is holding 24 shades you're going to purchase it, it's going to get to you empty, and you can either purchase their eyeshadows, or if you already have eyeshadows to put into the pan, that empty pan is for $10. Like, bro, if you guys are asleep on Colourpop, y'all need to wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Hopefully, if I can, I want to get my hands on two of the eyeshadow palette and, you know, maybe do a review, do a look. And I don't know, maybe we might do a giveaway because I want to give back to you guys. So, hopefully, if I can get my hands on two of them, we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> this collection just popped out of, out of nowhere. Like, I honestly didn't see this coming. But they're still working on the Karuchi collection and it's coming you guys it's coming like i'm already seeing pictures for it like y'all just tell me the release date and y'all just tell me these prices because what i'm seeing so far i'm liking it uh you know so cold pop is doing this thing keep an eye out for that and just keep an eye out on color pop because it's they're doing their thing i just want to bring up one little quick tip um do you guys see the urban decay heat palette I feel like it's giving off vibes from Kylie's burgundy kit. When I'm seeing these warm berry colors and I'm looking at the Urban Decay heat palette, I'm like, do I really need to drop another $54 for more warm shades? Do I? Y'all let me know if you already picked that up. Y'all let me know if it's similar to you guys' because when I look at this and I'm looking at that palette, I'm like, do I need the both of them? I feel like I'm getting a lot of mixed comments about um, Jaclyn Hills and Morphe's eyeshadow palette. Like, you guys, it's coming out on the... It's coming out on the 21st. It's going to be right here around the corner. So you guys need to make up your minds. Like, you guys need to make up your minds. The reason why I say this, I feel like this palette is mostly she's like dabbling from each palette and bringing it all in one for only $38 like if y'all thought the prices for Kylie's 52 
dollar palette for 18 shades were ridiculous you're getting 35 shades for 38 dollars and i'm seeing the swatches that she's doing i'm like okay jacqueline i see you i'll see you on the 21st and honestly just like i'm showing you these swatches and it seems like natasha denona denona's sunset palette and it also is looking like um colourpop's um eyeshadow palette and that's only one row like there's a whole it's so diverse it, there's so many looks that you could pull off that one blue shade in there y'all let me know if y'all getting this palette because i'm definitely getting that palette hopefully if it doesn't sell out because i know everybody the mama is going to be on that website the 21st trying to get that palette don't lie don't lie <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching. I'm starting to sweat a little bit too much with all these lights. So, we're going to have to wrap it up now. I'm a little bit dewy. Thank you for like taking the time to sit down and listen to me. Because it's crazy that the same thoughts that are running through my mind, you guys are thinking about it too. And you guys are not crazy because I'm feeling the same type of pressure with all these makeup coming out. But it's okay. We're going to take it one launch at a time okay i'll be there to hold your hand okay <laughs> bye you guys love you see you guys later Mwah.